welcome to the Atheist Humanist Agnostics uh, first speaker of our semester. So without further ado, here's Dan Burke. So we're talking about Jesus and the resurrection right now. When I was a minister, for all those years, I preached just like the Apostle Paul wrote in the Bible, that if Jesus had not raised from the dead, then our faith is in vain, and we are basically lying. Most religions have these claims in them of some kind of a miracle thing, and the Christian claim of the resurrection of Jesus is really the key miracle. There are four lines of criticism. The first line is the philosophical historical objection. This objection does not mean there were no miracles. The objection is much more modest than that. What we're pointing out is that the miracle may have happened, okay? In spite of our skepticism, the miracle may have happened, but history is the wrong tool for knowing that, which means that the historical method, methodologically, doesn't rule out miracles, it just can't address miracles. It can't even look for them. So what else do believers have, though, when they're looking at the claim to the resurrection? History, that's what they have. Well, many of them will say, like I said, we also have a tool called faith. But of course, faith is not a tool of knowledge. If faith is a valid tool of knowledge, then anything goes. All religions are true. The second objection, uh, the second line of objection to the resurrection of Jesus is these attempts to provide naturalistic explanations for the story. I happen to think that these naturalistic attempts to explain these miracles in the New Testament give too much credit to the text. They assume that the authors in the text are writing something that really happened. And we know from human nature that the writers of any text are human beings, and human beings have flaws. Human beings make mistakes. The legend hypothesis is this, that there was belief in an initial happening, that the Christ figure, who then died for some reason, executed or died, um, and then the followers of this Christ person uh, claimed and believed that that character, that Christ, ascended to heaven spiritually. In the earliest narrative of the resurrection, you have very little or zero extraordinary events. In Mark, you have one. In Matthew, we have like four. And then in Luke, we have like five. And in John, we have six or more. If you just put that on a graph, you can see a legendary growth, an exaggeration, an embellishing of the story through time. To me, and to many scholars, that shows the evidence, that shows the footprint of legend making. 